What's up, everybody? Eric Kane, VolQuest.com. Got Tennessee catcher Cal Stark on with us today. Cal, appreciate the time, man. Yes, sir, for sure. Thanks for having me. Hey, first ten first season with Tennessee, right? And uh, you mean you grew up in Knoxville, Tennessee, former Admiral Farragut High School. What's it been like uh, playing for the hometown school? It's been super cool, you know, uh, getting to play in front of the, you know, I guess you can say the hometown fans and uh, in front of my family, all my all my all my good friends from high school. Um, it's just it's been really a, uh, it's been a dream come true. I, I really I really started thinking of it. I guess my freshman year uh, my, at my junior college, thinking like, man, like you know, it'd be it'd be sick to come you know play it in Lindsey Nelson in, in front of the balls. Um, and uh, so ever since then, it, it's been kind of my dream to do that, and you know, it's a dream come true. So walk me through that path. You're you're in Farragut, Tennessee. You know you're playing high school baseball in this area. You yeah. leave Farragut, you go to junior college and um, Weatherford College. That's in Texas. You spend okay. two seasons there, and then you make your way back to Tennessee. Well, uh, why the why Weatherford College to begin with, and then when you you mentioned it'd be neat to come back as a freshman. When did that become a real reality that you could come back and play in the SEC? Yeah, so um, I was born in Texas and moved to Knoxville um, in 2017. Um, so I, I, I mean, I grew up in Texas. So it, it was, I always went back and played summer ball there. Um, spent I spent a lot of time down there, and uh, still had a bunch of friends down there. So whenever I moved up here and um, was playing high school ball here, I didn't, I didn't play too too much. Um, and so, like I said, in the summers, I'd go back down there. So that's how I ended up going back down there for ju junior college ball. Um, just going back down there each summer, uh, getting recruited by schools down there. Um, so that's kind of how that that's kind of how that started. Uh, and then once I got down there, um, started playing, played pretty well my freshman year. And I'd say about halfway through my freshman year uh, is when I um, started getting recruited. And Tennessee was one of those schools. And I was like, man, like if this, if this, like if this works out, like I'm, I'm going to be a Tennessee volunteer, like no matter who offers me. So uh, that was, that was kind of when it started. And then uh, I guess my, my sophomore year, um, whenever we started up my sophomore year is when it, when it, you know, got started to kick up and uh, became, became official. Who who reached out? Who who was uh, recruiting you and responsible for bringing you back to Knoxville? Uh, the big one was uh, Coach Vitello. Okay. Actually, yeah, <laughs> I I didn't most when I talked with him. Got to make you feel good when the head man's the one that wanted to bring you back. Well, yes, seeing a need, you know, Tennessee the last two years has had need behind the behind the plate, you know, for reasons, you know, whatever it is, you know, had a couple of commitments and they never made it to campus and all that type of stuff. Uh, knowing there was a needed catcher, um, you come in and, and you're, you're you're seeing a little playing time early on. Um, and, and, but really, about a month ago, maybe maybe five weeks ago now, you stepped in and you're you're pretty much that everyday catcher um, for the most part. What's it been like getting routine at bats? What's it been like being the guy out there for all three of the starters, uh, all the guys in the bullpen throughout a weekend rotation? Kind of how neat's that been being a being an every down guy? Yeah, you know it's been it's been pretty cool. Um, it's been it's been at first it was kind of like a oh dang like we're, we're doing this and then um now it's just kind of you know it's just it's just playing baseball you know uh, that was the big thing for me was just trying to slow it down and and at the end of the day just realize i'm playing i'm playing a game i'm playing baseball you know uh not you don't need to add any extra pressure onto yourself um so once i once i realized that you know um it's just it's been fun and uh, it's just now it's just kind of relaxing. Something you bring outside of you know being able to handle a pitching staff, outside of having some big hits, you bring a you bring a fire, you bring an intensity. I think anybody that watches Tennessee baseball can kind of see that. Um, mm -hmm. Spoke with you after the Georgia series, and under understandably so, you were you were a little 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 fiery, a little upset, you know, with how that weekend went. Yeah. Um, you wear your emotions on a sleeve. Is that something that's always been with you? And kind of does that help fuel you to be a better baseball player? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Ever since ever since I was a little kid, growing up playing ball, um, I kind of wore them on my sleeve. Um, 
sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I think I, I play with, play with them on my sleeve and, and sometimes that can, that can rub off in a good way, you know, um, with, for instance, for example, uh, like my pitcher, I feel like I can, I could fire him up and, and, you know, get him out of a big jam. Um, so I've always, I've always kind of been that type of player where, you know, I'm playing with passion and, and, uh, playing with a bunch of fire and, uh, it's just kind of who I am. Cal, controlling the run game as a defensive catcher, it's, I mean, it's not just you. I mean, there's so many different, I mean, it's, it's your pitch. It's why they call it the batter, right? It's your pitcher. It's yeah. you. It's, it's the defense behind you and all that. Um, throwing out two runners uh, on, I guess it was game three on Sunday, throwing out two runners, having that big two run home run. That was probably your best game in a Tennessee uniform. Um, how exciting was that to, you know, have that big of a game to, you know, try to help your team win? Yeah, no. Uh, throwing out those runners was, was pretty electric. Um, I actually, whenever they went to review that one at second base, I, I said a prayer saying, please don't overturn this, please don't <laughs> overturn this. Um, but no, uh, like you said, uh, it was, it was huge to have, to have the, that pickoff and then, and then the, you know, caught stealing, um, and then the, the home run was just kind of icing on the cake. Um, you know, it's always, it's always good to, it's always good to, you know, perform at the plate. Um. But what we say here is, you know, whatever happens at the plate, if you're doing your job behind the plate, whatever happens at the plate's bonus. So that was the thought process with Christian Scott as well. And then look, look how well he's hitting yeah, this year. Exactly. Exactly. It's been fun to see. Um, as far as gaining a nice, um, rubber, you know, rapport with with the umpire behind you as mm -hmm. a catcher, um, is is that something you work on? And if so, kind of how long? I know it's different for everybody, but kind of how many innings, if you will, or or maybe you see these guys because they, they do a couple of series throughout the year, yeah. you know, gaining the trust and that relationship with the home plate umpire throughout the throughout the game. How much of an emphasis is that for you? Yeah, um, you know, it's a it's a it's a huge thing, and uh, we've we've talked about it uh, as a as a catching group uh, a lot more these past few weeks. Um, because now we're, we're starting to get the, the same guys over and over again. So, like, we, we know them. They know us. Um, and, uh, you know, forming a, a good relationship with them is, is huge because, I mean, it, it could be the difference in a, in a very close call where it could, it could go your way or it could not go your way because, because of the relationship you have with them. Um, so really just, you know, chatting up with them early on in the game, um, getting to know them, not just, not just, you know, sticking to baseball talk, you know, how have you been? Like how are, how are things going? Haven't seen you in a while, stuff like that. And that could really help and make a, actually a huge difference that um, a lot of people really don't know. Um, so that that is a big thing, and and we're working on it uh, each and every day. Yeah, last thing, man. Uh, it's been it's been fun catching up with you and uh, asking you some of these uh, neat little questions. Six games left, conference slate. Then you're at the Hoover SEC tournament. Then uh, you mm -hmm. know regional play and all that. Um, of course, you need you need to get get a couple more wins and handle business to ensure all that. But uh, kind of what what's the mindset for this team? You got three at home against a talented Kentucky team. Then you go on the road. You take on a really good South Carolina team that's dealing with some injuries right now. But um, kind of what's the mindset of the team right now when you're trying to uh, lock up postseason play and and try to play your best baseball entering that phase of the season? Yeah, I think it's just um, <clears throat> I think it's just staying true to who we are. Sorry. <coughs> uh. I think it's just staying true to who we are, um, you know, playing Tennessee baseball, playing the ball that we've been playing the past few weeks. Um, and, uh, you know, I think I think the rest will take care of itself. You know, the cards are we have we can we, we can do whatever we want right now. You know, keys are in our hands. Um, we just got to take it and we got to go. Um, so just playing relaxed, having fun, the big thing. And then and then just playing Tennessee baseball. And I think the rest will take care of itself. Gal, appreciate the time, man. As you see the schedule right there, some big time games coming up. Kentucky yes, coming back home for the final uh, midweek against Belmont, then on the road at South Carolina uh, to finish the regular season before heading down to Hoover for the SEC tournament. Cal, appreciate the time, man. Thanks so much. Enjoy watching you play. And um, here's to a, a good last six games of the season. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for having me. And it's Tennessee catcher and Farragut's uh, former Farragut Admiral, Cal Stark.